Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, earlier today I did a, a live stream and um, the basic uh, premise was how to cut sheets down to size with your Crossfire Pro without a G-code program. If you saw the live stream, you kind of know what's coming, but when I saw the live stream, the video quality was terrible because of my, um, my bandwidth issue that I was having. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna redo that and uh, once I get this uploaded, I'll probably just delete the live stream. Um, that was just me hanging out. Also, you'll see all of my failures if you see a live stream. Here, this is gonna be edited. So, let's get to it. Okay, you're gonna start by just laying your piece on here. And I measured, I just mark a line. So let me show you a little bit how um, I line it up and the process for cutting strips in fire control 20.5. Okay, so I'm lined up on that end. Now I'm going to jog to the other end. This is how I usually go about lining stuff up. All right, so now I'm off a little bit. I'm gonna come back. All right, that's good enough. So at this point, I'm going to activate the manual torch. So you just hit that and that, you know, turns this on and you're ready to go. So as what the strategy here is, I'm going to move this over here to continuous. I'm gonna to go to 50 inches per minute. Basically, because these are all predefined and you can't just type in whatever speed you want, you might actually have to adjust your uh, amperage on the plasma cutter. So I cut at 26 uh, amps, 26 to 28 amps, 50 inches a minute is what I cut um, 14 gauge steel. Now what I have learned so far is when I first got this machine I was just running everything at 45 amps just wide open and I was just adjusting my inches per minute. Now that works but see that's the key <laughs> You're going to be burning through consumables really fast if you just run this thing wide open all the time. Now, this thing gets just as good of cuts, just as good of cuts, actually better cuts if I cut it at 27 uh, amps and 50 inches a minute. So, and now because I'm cutting at 27 amps instead of 45 amps, my consumables are lasting a lot longer now if you're blowing all your money on consumables you're gonna make less profit so you want to kind of you know uh, keep that in mind okay so now is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna say manual torch on and then I'm gonna hit uh, the over arrow and it's going to cut at 50 inches a minute so I'm gonna move you back now that you know what I'm gonna do over here and you can watch it happen basically I'm just gonna come down until it touches I'm gonna move it to incremental 16th steps. Okay, so I'm basically touching, I'm gonna to go up a 16th. Yeah. Make sure you're on continuous, make sure you're at 50 inches a minute. Now I'm gonna get my finger ready on the X positive button, and with the mouse, I'm going to fire the torch. And of course, in typical fashion, it didn't fire a pilot arc because I'm really, really getting sick and tired of this plasma cutter. As soon as I make enough money with this table, the first thing I'm doing is getting rid of that stupid plasma cutter and getting something legit, like a Hypotherm Paramax 45 XP. Okay, let's try again. Enable. So we got the torch on. I got my finger ready to jog. I'm going to fire it. And this didn't require any G code. Um, it didn't require any software, no inventor, no fusion, no sheet cam, nothing. Just with what the machine comes with, you can rip um, steel. So I really hope this video is helpful um, because, you know, 
I know it's just like I ran into this problem. You may also run into this problem where you want to, you know, just rip some stuff down and you don't want to go into Sheet Cam or Fusion or Inventor or SolidWorks or any of those just to create a line. I mean, the amount of time it would take you to draw a line, post it, pull it in, run the program, it's just so much faster um, just to, uh, you know, do it this way. And I encourage you to take advantage of this feature on your Langmire Systems Crossfire Pro as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends who have uh, Crossfire Pros. And if you subscribe, make sure you click the notification bell. That's the most important thing. I will see you guys next time.